No time to be wasting your life. Okay. All right. So we'd like to, let me find a pen so I can write down the winners. Um, so we'd like to welcome you to Fabric Chicks Live at noon. Um, we do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Wednesdays, though, it happens at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on um, the Wild Wednesday Live Facebook page, where we, um, Raylene and I, interview three other vendors from the shows. So if you haven't followed Wild Wednesday Live yet, go ahead and do it. Not right now, though. Wait till we're done, because you don't want to miss anything. Um, okay, let me put on my comments so I can see. Um, wait, hang on a second. Devin, talk to him while I answer the phone. Hey. Tell him a joke. Um, I don't know. Tell him a joke. I don't have a joke. Um, tell him something. My shoulder hurts. Hello? She's on the phone. Um, we do, but only in scraps, not She yardage. drove really fast. All right, thank you. In uh -huh. the Bye -bye. snow. She almost crashed. Oh, my goodness. I did not almost crash. It did start snowing, though. Um, for those of you who don't know, we're just getting back from, um, from Pacific International in Santa Clara. So we got home uh, probably about 10 o'clock last night. The show, oh, the show ended about, um, the show ended at four and we tore it down, had everything loaded in the van because Devin and Dennis are superstars. So we, um, so we were on the road, I think by about a quarter to six and then we, it, smooth sailing till we got to Strawberry coming over the Sierra mountains and, um, and then we hit a little bit of snow, but it wasn't bad at all. Just, it's kind of like you're driving into like, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> alien territory with the snow just like coming at you. Um, but it was fine. Devin was a little leery. It's rain. It's rain. Yeah. I just told Devin not to panic. It was just rain. But he's like, mom, rain doesn't come at you like that. Um, it's really hard when your kids are smarter than you are. Um, okay. Who was the first person on, Devin? I don't know. The um, first Dorothy, person, Len we... Jenkins is the first one who commented. Okay. Um, Len Jenkins. Okay, I have a pattern for you, Len. Um, and then, uh, so we like to do lots of giveaways if you're new to joining us. Um, and we put the giveaways inside your basket. So over here, we have baskets that um, are like never go away. So um, Lynn probably already has a basket right here because she hasn't come in to pick it up lately. Um, but don't worry, if you don't live near here, um, we can ship it to you. So most of these do get shipped to customers. We try to do it about once a week, sometimes when we're on the road for shows, um, it gets pushed back a little bit because we can only do so much. Um, okay, let's see. My comments are kind of crazy on here. Um, hi, Christy, hi, Dorothy. Um, I don't know, Devin, what speed did we average coming home? Probably about 80-ish, I would say. Um, we hit traffic. We're, we did hit traffic coming through like Elk Grove area, which was weird, stopped in an Elk Grove. It was like bumper to bumper. And we probably had to slow down on the freeway to about 45-ish. Um, but that was it. Um, okay, let's see. So by 11 o'clock, we'd taken showers because you know you're all hot and sweaty from tearing down your booth and loading it in the van. So by 11 o'clock, we were all in bed. Um, but then it was really hard to get up this morning. Um, I just wanted to sleep in, um, but Gracie had volleyball practice. So, um, I had to get up and take her to volleyball. Um, let's see. Hi, Linda. Uh, Christy Lee's shoulder hurts too. Uh-oh, get the dog. A customer just came in and, and nobody's got, the, the, uh, nobody was in here. So we didn't make Max go upstairs. All right. Let Max do a guest appearance. Hey, Max. Here's Max. He's the honoriest dog you'll ever meet. Christy Lee, why does your shoulder hurt? Um, hi, Kathleen. Hi, Ann. Um, Kathleen says, hi, Beth and Devin. Glad you made it back safely. Hi, Judy. Oh, oh, Lynn signed on to YouTube by mistake. That's okay. Devin said you were the first one to sign in. So we already put a, a giveaway in your basket, a free pattern. Um, Kathleen says it's like Christmas when she gets her order. I know it's fun. You never know what's going to be in your basket, honestly. Um, sometimes you girls just order randomly because um, you get so excited in the moment that you forget what you ordered. Um, hey, Joanne, how are you? Um, hi, Janice. 
Anne, I know you love Max, but it's only because you've never met him. We have nothing ready for you yet. Oh, Slackers. here, it's the mail lady. I know we just Slackers. got back in town last night at, at like 10 o'clock. Yeah, how was it, good? It was, it was all right, not fabulous, but all right. Okay, thank you, see you tomorrow. Um, uh, oh, Lynn got her third booster, so that's why her shoulder hurts. Um, well, hopefully it gets over quick. Max is very cute. Max is the cutest dog you'll ever meet, probably. He has a little snaggle tooth. He was a rescue from the um, animal shelter. Gracie had to have him because he was so cute. He could, she could fit him in his her purse, um, except for he's so ornery, he hates everybody except for me. So the poor kids still don't have a dog. Okay, Ro Rosie has a question about Razzle Wonderfill, the eight weight rayon. Will it sew in my Solaris okay and what needle size? Um, no, Rosie, it will not sew. The eight weight is more of a um, couching thread. So the eight weight, you can do two things with it. You can lay it down, like put it wherever you want it on your fabric and then couch over it. Or some people, um, I just do a free motion kind of zigzag and catch it once in a while. Or you can, um, you could do bobbin work with it. So you could put it in your bobbin, but you're gonna wanna make sure you have two separate bobbins because you're gonna have to play with the tension. So people that do bobbin work, love bobbin work, they do, like they do lots of it. Most of us are afraid of it because we don't wanna ruin our tension in our bobbin for when we're piecing regular stuff. So I've tried it once. Um, I would rather just couch it on than do the bobbin work. Um, okay, let's see if I, oh, Christy says she doesn't know why her shoulder hurts, it just hurts. All right, thanks for that update, Christy. <laughs> My whole body hurts. Um, no, it's actually fine. Once I took a good, um, once I slept slept in my own bed, it was fine. Okay, sleeping in hotel rooms is always hard because the beds are always funky. Um, speaking of ordering, are you going to be getting Kathy Holden's Big Sky Star, Star Kit by Moda? Um, did it go with her woodsy fabrics? Dorothy, honestly, at this point, I don't know what I'm getting or when I'm getting it, but we did get Kathy Holden's outdoorsy fabric line. Um, but I was talking to Mario today, who's my fabric rep for Moda. So we could have him throw, they're um, doing an order for me right now with stuff we sold out of at the show. So um, like kitty corn out of those panels. So we only have the kits left. Um, so he's sending me two more bolts of those panels because who doesn't need kitty corn panels, Halloween fabric all year long. Um, okay. Um, it does go with outdoorsy. See, we got the fabric line, but we didn't get any pre-cuts. So I'm wondering if the pre-cuts are taking longer to ship. Um, I know some of the companies are sending the pre-cuts out way after they send out the bolts because they don't have the manpower to get them done. So I will ask, um, I will ask, I'll send Mario an email after we're finished here. Um, okay. And then I do have a couple of demos for you girls, but, um, Devin. Come down and scroll so we can have some winners. Uh-oh, here, somebody's package uh, did not make it. It got returned to us. <coughs> Bummer. Um, uh, that's, the, that's the fun part about coming back from a show. All the work that I would have done for the last week still has to be done. So, um, so it's like double duty when you get back from a show. Um, Yes, Norma, you can call. It was just a panel for the gnome. Here, can you scroll on dad's iPad so we can have some winners? Um, hey, um, it was. Just, you want this? Just, uh, just, it was the holiday know. gnome throughout the year. So I'm not sure because since you didn't remember it, I think we probably put it back. Um, but it was definitely the holiday gnome. I'm not sure if it was just the holiday gnome panel or the kids book that we were giving the free batting for. Um, so yeah, you can call me if you would like. Thank you, Beverly Ann. Um, luckily, well, not luckily, but the show was a little bit slower than normal, um, especially in California where people are still required to wear masks. Um, all of the shows have been less attendance. So, um, 
So, oh, uh, Roger wants the tripod. So, you know, um, um, just picking winners. Yeah, you know scroll, that, scroll yeah, through that. that. Okay, yeah. Devin's gonna pick winners. Devin's gonna pick winners. Just don't cheat. Okay, we've got two fat quarters. I'm doing. I'm running it now. Okay, Devin. Do something. Okay, Devin's got, here. Pick the winners. The, this one though, just ask who wants a book. It's about threads, so it's okay. about quilting or something. Okay. So, if you want the book about quilting, put that in there. Okay. Um, hold on. Her alarm's going off again. Okay. So if I want to do this, I can. Okay. Um. Um. There's no pen. Okay. Perfect. Right here. Thank you. Okay. 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 I need you to scroll. Okay. Here, I'll scroll. For this fat quarter. Okay. You're supposed to be scrolling. I had to turn off your alarm. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I scroll. Would, I thought it would be more fair on there. Okay. Oh, Christy Lee. I don't even know if Christy Lee's allowed to win, but you can win today, Christy. Okay, and then we have another one. Um, Linda Denniston. Linda Denniston. Okay, and then let's go see what your guys' comments are. Um, Kathleen Rader. Oh, Mary Vitti loves you, Devin. Um, let's see. Oh, Kathleen let's see. Rader wants the book. Okay, I need one more scroll. We should this. do stupid jokes again where they have to get the answers for the jokes. That was okay, a lot more fun than joke. this. Then tell a joke. A riddle, not a joke. Then tell a riddle. Um, here, here's tea bags from um from Janet Wicker Frisch. And um Kathleen Re uh Kathleen Raider. Oh, we have more customers in the back. Oh. Um, I know we have Is it just the one lady? Um well she's talking. To, she's either talking to herself or she's okay. on the phone. Okay. She's got a whole conversation going on there, so I don't know if she has a friend. Okay. Um, now I got this. Okay, so we've got the leftover backing from my Lorraine Turner quilt. So it's Calico Horses by Lorraine Turner. All they can see is your hands. So show them how amazing that is. You can't um, scroll. Okay, here, I'm going to scroll on yeah, Rogers. Dad has to scroll. Um, okay, let's see. And Linda Meyer. So for those of you that are new, um, remember that all of these prizes go into your baskets and then we ship them with your orders. And if you're new, you um, every Friday when we're not at a show, we do a live celebration. So we hold up like 150 items, kind of like this. We hold it up, we tell you how amazing it is and you just comment and put it in your basket and it magically appears on your doorstep um, for your enjoyment. Okay, here's a bunch of batiks for you. A bunch of batiks. Let's see. We're up. Oh, we got a new comment down here. Roger's Roger's behind. Um, I'll be down there next week to pick it up. Okay, Linda, perfect. Um, Christy Lee says we're ignoring her. Oh, Christy Lee says pick somebody else. She doesn't want it. Are you sure, Christy Lee? It's the North Cut from the New Dawn line with um, birds flying in it. Are you sure you don't want it? So, girls, if you ever win something you don't want, just throw it back in the pot because there's always somebody else out there. Oh, hey, Rondi. Okay, we've got batiks here. Batiks, batiks, batiks. Dorothy Thomas Reed. That was a good one, Dorothy. You lucked out. Um, and, um, okay, let's see. What's the next one? Christy, Ooh, you still don't sense. want it? Sure. Sure she does want it or sure she doesn't want it? Mini, mini maker. Okay, mini maker. It makes three. Felt um, succulents. Who doesn't need felt succulents? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it's so hard to. Was, it was him first. I was trying not to laugh. Okay, Rosie, you're the winner. Rosie Bernard? Yeah, Rosie Bernard. I think she must. I think she's on the phone. Um, Yes, don't want it. Okay. Here, pick a new winner for Christie's. I don't know why we can never read our notes. Okay, pick a new winner for Christie. Okay, new winner. Scroll. Okay. Okay, Janice Metcalf. Okay, and then we have a few more drawings, but hang on a second, because I do um, um give it to another amazing customer. Okay, Christy, we did. Um, okay. So we have a couple of things. We'll do those drawings in a second, okay, Devin? Don't go far, okay? Here, hold my thing and read me the um, the comments. Yeah. Um. Okay. So 
Well, well we have to keep it. Talk. I know we have to keep it charged in because the iPad's been in the bag at the bottom of the car for two days. So there's um, a couple of things. If you're new to watching us, we do a lot of demos and things. Typically on Monday is more of our demo day. Um, but we do lots of kind of artsy stuff, more um, more artsy stuff than traditional stuff. So if you want to scan Roger over here to like the um, Lake Tahoe scene. So we do a lot of, we do a lot, sorry, um, a lot of dimensional stuff. So here's some logs that are dimensional with just thread and wash away stabilizer, um, some moss on our rocks, some pine needles. Um, so we do tons of um, demos, but I don't want to like do the same demos all the time because then our regulars get bored, except for honestly, they need refreshers. Um, but last year we did a free class for everybody who did the, bought this panel. Of course, I haven't finished it because I don't ever get anything finished around here. But you can see here, it was just a regular panel. Um, it's stiff because I sprayed it. I treated it with Cheerio Magic. So like here, we've got some thread um, on this leaf. You can see it just adds a little bit of texture, not much, but a little bit of texture. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like on the backside. If you treat it with Tyriel Magic, it stiffens it so you don't have to use a stabilizer. And then down here, we added Fabric Magic, which after you stitch it and you steam it, it's going to shrink your project where you have it about 30%. So this is kind of what it looks like um, here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out of the background and then put it onto a canvas. So it's more of an art piece um, eventually when I get to it. So we do have these panels still available, but I know that the girls, um, the girls that already finished this one and are looking for something new have already ordered this from our Sunday Zooms. So if you don't do... If you're not familiar with our Sunday Zooms, that's a free opportunity for you to join us. It's a lot of chit chat, kind of social hour. And um, we do it from one to three. And you just have to join our Fabric Chicks Stitch Along, which is an option on our Facebook page. Um, and then we post the links there. So this is the newest one that the girls are um, bedazzling. But a lot of you, and we're kind of trying to catch up. Let me plug Roger back in. Um, we're kind of trying to catch up. Um, COVID's been kind of a really, oops, a really weird year. Uh, here, Devin. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. Well, we're a little bit more crazy than normal today because we just, you know, lack of sleep. And, um, and we've been gone for a week. So everything's out of place. So, but... But honestly, this is kind of how we operate every day because we're doing a million things. Um, but since we are short on staff, like every other business in America, um, we just kind of roll with it and this is what you get. Um, but we last year, you guys, a bunch of you bought the chenille it to do the um, chenille jacket. So we're not gonna have a class. So a lot of times when I first figure something out, you guys can just join me and we'll set aside, you know, like a four hour time period and we'll all just work on it and work through the pattern um, together. I usually try to get a little bit of a head start from you guys. So I kind of know what I'm talking about, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. But so for those of you who have, um, who purchased the chenille it jacket and the chenille it, um, the, the class workshop, it's not really a class because we're all learning together but the workshop is free. Um, so let me just post in there what days, probably what evenings work best for you, only because um, it's just me running the shop on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then Karen is here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But um, I probably need to be long arming. So we could do it in an evening, unless you girls really would rather do it during the day, and then we could do a Wednesday during the day, maybe. I don't know. I can't think that far ahead. But let me know what days are best for you girls. You should have, if you've done it already, you should have four of these of the same color. Um, I was gonna do mine in aqua and an aqua blue color, but apparently we've sold out of them. So I might do mine in brown because brown goes with everything. Um, but I know Penny got the purple, 
The sample that I saw from this chenille lady was the lime green. She was wearing it. It's kind of vintagey looking. It was super, super adorable. So that's that. If you didn't get this and you want it, let me know and then we'll add you um, to the class. Then I just want to give you a reminder that you want to save all of this stuff. I think this was the wrapping on my oranges, my cuties. Save all of this stuff. I know it makes you a hoarder, but hoarders like company. So welcome to my world. Um, no, save all of this stuff because you're going to use it in the artsy stuff. Even if you don't think you are, you are. Um, like here we have it. I have a green avocado one here. Um, it just adds texture to your projects. Um, especially for the dimensional um, projects that we like to do. So save it. You could add it to um, this red one would be great on a, a big uh, flower. And I know we've got a lot of fabric coming in from Frond. So, um, so we'll be doing some fun stuff with that. And then, right, we're almost ready for the, um, oh, I think she wants help. Oh. We're almost ready for um, the next giveaway, but I um, just want to let you know that we, we're going to be working on this panel for the next little bit. Um, I'm going to cut these apart, thread paint them, and then I think I'm going to put them on the back of a jacket. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to bedazzle a jacket. I'm going to try doing some more um, upcycling. So my sister just gave me a huge bag full of clothes from Chico's. I don't really know why, because I can guarantee you my... Um, motorcycle riding, dirt bike riding, outdoorsy sister who's 10 years younger than me does not shop at Chico's, but the clothes are so cute. So we're gonna be bedazzling them. Um, so I've taken this panel and I took my Cheerio Magic and I dumped it into this little bowl here. And then I put this in here, got it completely saturated at full strength. Um, because I want it to be really, really stiff when I do the thread painting. Um, and then I'm hoping to get, see, I still have my new machine. Um, it's still in the box. See how pretty it is in the box? I'm hoping it's just as pretty outside of the box. Um, but I'm hoping to get that out and um, start experimenting with thread painting for that. So if you kind of want to go on that journey with us, um, we can put one of these panels in your basket. We will um, experiment, we'll use um, fabric magic. It's, it'll be kind of a beginner. Well, advanced people are more than welcome to join, um, but it's gonna be kind of great. It'll be a great process for um, people who haven't really ventured into the artsy thread painting and embellishing kind of thing. So we're just going to start experimenting with this on Mondays. We'll do a little bit every Monday when we do our demos and techniques. So. I would do a little bit of thread painting right now, except for that it's still wet. So it was outside trying to dry, but with the uh, inclement, uh, the weather being so cold, it's still really, really, really damp. So we'll do that next Monday. Um, if I start on it though, if I, for some reason, have nothing else to do and start on it, I'll do a impromptu live. So make sure that you get our, our lives. Um, hi, Diana. Uh, we traveled last night. We got home about 10 o'clock. Show jacket up close, please. Um, there you go. Mary Beattie, you might have this. Uh, I'm not sure. I know Connie Wiggins has it. Penny has it. Several of you got this jacket. Um, uh, it might fit you. It probably... It would definitely fit you, Mary. If you want my shirt, I will take it right off of my sweaty body and give it to you. Um, oh my gosh, you girls are crazy. My butterfly shirt. Look, this shirt is like 10 years old at least. It's definitely from when I was a very much smaller size. Um, let's see. The challenge. Oh goodness. Rondi, we're going to have to see what kind of a challenge we can do. Um, I heard a little bit because I had my AirPod in and I was listening to you girls, but I was also talking to customers and answering questions. So I caught tidbits of what your shenanigans are. 
But as soon as we fine tune it, we'll let everybody know. Um, we want to do a Fabric Chicks display at the Reno show and the um, and Pacific International Quilt Festival because you guys are that amazing. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, this shirt is at least 10 years old, girls, at least. I think the kids were probably three years old when I bought it. Um, I, it's part of my hoarding disease. I never get rid of anything. Oh, perfect, Dorothy. Um, oh, the green, the green avocado bags would be perfect for underwater scenes, but you could also use the red ones for coral. Um, oh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to work on that. I'm excited, Dorothy. Okay. Um, oh, Christy Lee, she opened her machine. Did, so Christy and I both bought Jukies at the same time because we got a good deal um, from the Elk Grove Sewing Center in California. And if any of you want a Juki or are looking for a new machine, they were super helpful, super nice, super good deals. Like I saved so much buying it from them than what the show special was for the um, sewing machine dealer in um, Arizona when we were there. So it was like $1,000 cheaper than the sewing machine dealer in Scottsdale. So I think it was a really, really good deal. Um, I want the panel and some, um, okay. Joanne, which panel do you want? Do you want the one that the girls are doing this year? Or do you want the one that I haven't, um, this one that I haven't finished from last year? I still have some of those. So it kind of depends on if you want the bird or not, or this one. Um, Diana and Connie, I think, got this one. I don't know if she saw the bird. I didn't see it. You didn't see a bird there? I did after you threw it down. Okay, there's a bird. So let me know which one you want, and I will. Sorry, I'm moving too fast for Roger. He gave me the evil eye. Um, okay, let me know which one you want, Joanne. Devin, are you ready for some more? Um... Yeah, let me get it over with. Okay, Devin is ready to... Hi, Rebecca from Stockton. Welcome. Um... We have three of these. Okay, three patterns. We'll show them what the pattern looks like. Okay, Joanne, tell me what color for the jacket. Um, tell us about the horse fabric. What horse fabric? Um, Michelle, what horse fabric do you want to know about? Oh, uh, Kathleen, we all feel like hoarders when we look at our stash. And all day long, I hear from every woman that comes into my shop. Oh, I told myself I wasn't going to buy anything because I don't need anything. I have so much fabric. I could open my own quilt shop. And in my head, I think, well, if you're not buying anything, what are you here for? Um, but then my niceness comes in and I just smile and say, well, maybe we can inspire you. But a lot of times you need to add something to your stash to perk it up. Okay, let's scroll. Okay. Um, Katrina, I did, um, I got a new machine because I've had the same machine um, since I was probably 18, which was the top of the line Bernina at the time because Eleanor Peace Bailey um, got uh, the newest machine and then she she was a spokesperson for it. So for a year she could use it for free and then she could buy it at half price. So at 18, I worked for like six months to pay for that machine. Um, and I've used that same Bernina all these years but it was the first one with the mouse. So it you have to be able to move the mouse and the mouse doesn't move anymore. And so I can only do straight stitching and free motion. I can't do any decorative stitching. And I've taken it in probably six times for them to fix it. And I, it comes home and it will work for like two or three times and then it dies again. So I finally decided that my machine, it, you know, it's 30 years old. This is what I do for a living. I should have the top of the line, something fun. But I don't need an embroidery machine. I'll never do embroidery. So um, so the, the Juki's what I decided to go with. It's an, it's, it's an industrial machine, 
but with the perks of funness. And supposedly, I the screen is big enough that I can watch YouTube tutorials on the screen, which to me just makes me leery that it's one more thing that can break. But, but it was fun. It was fun to buy a new machine. So I'm looking forward to um, opening it up, getting it out of the box, and seeing what it can do. Um, okay, let me see. Um, okay, Janice, we'll put one of those in your basket. Purple will be perfect. Um, okay, let's see. Can you go scroll yet? What color? Um, was the on the picture 10 minutes before the live gig, my first time here from Alaska. Welcome, Michelle. We have another gal from Alaska who joins us too, Marilyn. Um, oh, she Christy's got her machine plugged in. Let us know how it goes. Um, okay, let's see. I definitely do for a new machine. I am like the last holdout. Like, uh, even my cars, like I like to drive them till they're dead. Um, so mm. all of our cars are like 20 years old too. Um, no point in fixing it or getting a new one if your old one still works. But if it leaves me on the side of the road once, I can guarantee you I'm coming home with a new car. Um, okay, so we're gonna scroll for new winners. We've got how many how many patterns there do we have? Three. Okay. Um, Mary Vitti. Mary Vitti, you're so lucky. First time you got on. Um, Christy's just does the straight stitch. Mine does everything. Yes, we're having a sale on Friday. Sorry. Um, Norma Jean. And Mo. Hey, Mo, I didn't even see you were on there. Oh, except for we did have a whole conversation about my top. Okay. So the way we, we pick winners is we just scroll through your guys' comments and wherever it stops is who wins. Um, and then we try and, oh my gosh, you girls, um, everybody that I'm scrolling on has already been a winner. Um, okay, so then we have, here's a Tyrael Arts pattern. It works with your um, Tyrael Magic. So you, you treat your fabric with the Tyrael Magic, you cut it out and you can make a quilt with dimensional flowers. Super easy. And then we've got bags of old zippers. Who doesn't need old zippers? Except for that we are gonna make a project using the zippers as flowers for a dimensional project. So we're really trying to upcycle and get this stuff out of our shop because everybody who, um, who dies or goes into rest homes or no longer can see or they're just no longer sewing, they just like, once a week at least we get boxes just dumped out in our parking lot of stuff so we try to pass it on to you girls okay you need to go scroll or no you oh. just talked about them yeah it's not going to scroll now um yes um no i'm scrolling except for that lynn jenkins you're so funny so lynn lynn is very organized personality and so she's saying that i need to practice with my new machine before i start demoing but I can guarantee you girls, you're along, uh, you're along for the adventure with me. Um, so I'll try out my new machine right along with you because who has time to practice? Um, okay, so let's scroll. We have, what do we have? Tyrael Magic Pattern. Um, Rondi Reeves. And then Katrina, you won uh, zippers. Zip old used zippers going all the way to Australia. Life doesn't get better than that. Um, and then Michelle. Oops, we've got more customers. We're gonna have to end this soon. Did you get wool remnants from the fellow at the show? If so, I need some in fall colors. No, they were not parting with them, but I did talk to his son as we were leaving, and I um uh I did talk. Uh, the sun is going to make packages for me for Puyallup. So we'll have them in Puyallup. Hi there, ladies. How are you? Randy Reed um, says, please give it to someone. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yep. Where do you want to put I can take them for you. Okay, okay you want to scroll for the last zippers? Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Did you guys come back from the show? We did. We got back last night about. You 
scroll. Scraps for dogs? They use it to make dog beds. Oh. Scroll. No. Um, Ronnie doesn't want her pattern, so find somebody else. Okay. All right, girls. The horse fabric was, let's see. Here's the horse fabric. This was from Lorraine Turner's um, Calico Horses line. If you haven't followed Lorraine on Facebook, go do it right now. She's got an auction going on on Etsy for a bunch of her finished product. Um, she's a fabulous designer. She has a new line of fabric coming out, gosh, I don't know when, um, in January, I think. And then we also have a cup, we have one of her Calico Horse kits left. Sorry. Um, okay, let's see if you guys have any more comments. Do you have any more drawings? Oh, okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to scroll. Um, Janice Metcalf. You get the pattern, and then let's see, another bag of zippers. Christy Lee, do you want the zippers? Um, your name. Okay, girls. Um, Christy, if you want it, I'll give you, I have another bag I'll give you. Um, okay, let's see, Dorothy Thomas Reed. Okay, that's it for the giveaways today, um, because we got two new customers we gotta go um, talk to, but we will be, on Wednesday at two, we'll be interviewing three vendors on, um, go on Facebook, go to Wild Wednesday Live in your search bar and follow them. We interview them every, um, Raylene and I interview three vendors from across the country, actually across the world, because we do have a gal in Australia that we interview. Um, but we're this month we're doing quick, easy Christmas gifts. So some of them are already pre-made gifts. Some of them are ideas for you to make. Um, so that's at two every Wednesday. And then on Friday at noon, join us. We will be having a celebration. So we'll hold up 150 items for you to purchase or to get inspired by or whatnot. And then we have a bunch more giveaways than two. So that's all we have for today. Um, how do I get you my info? Um, Michelle, you can either PM us um, or you can send me an email. Uh, we don't have it scrolling across the bottom. Usually we have it scrolling across the bottom. But you can um, you can email me at Beth, B-E-T-H, at fabric, F-A-B-R-I-C, dash, chicks, C-H-I-C-K-S dot com. Or you can call us at 775-267-0204. Um, it's so exciting to see new names and to see old names and to um, reconnect with everybody. I'm really excited. We've got six weeks before our next show. So we've really been back to back shows for like the last, I don't know, it feels like the last six months. Um, but we're going to be in the shop for the next six weeks. So hopefully we'll be able to do a lot of fun lives and demos and get caught up and all that good stuff. So we will see you guys on Wednesday at 2. Have a good day and go do some sewing. If you sew for 20 minutes every day minimum, it doesn't seem so overwhelming, but you'll be amazed at what you can get done. All right, go sew. Have a good night. Have fun. Remember to have fun. It is. It's a Hit. I'm just talking just so you can kill it.